Hey everyone, it's Judy. How's everyone doing today, or tonight I should say. Um, I thought I'd show you something. I got this this product, this pamphlet in the mail, and it was folded into sections like this, and it was a glossy paper. So what I did, now I sanded this one, and I sanded it with a 200 grit wet dry sandpaper. Um, 200 is nice and rough, so that works really well. So I sanded the whole thing, got it nice and roughed up, and then I gessoed the whole thing a couple of times. You can still see some writing, but that's not that doesn't bother me. So what I thought I would do, okay, so that's part one. What I thought I would do is, remember my blotter paper that I kept underneath my work? Well, the less, this is the last page of it. This is all my leftovers, and then I just took some circles and caps of paint, and I just kind of did some funny markings, and um, and I thought, you know, this is pretty cool. I think what I'll do is I'll cover the I'll cover this with this strip on the front. So that's what I'm gonna do. I opened it up and I measured it, and I'm gonna I made a line here. I'm gonna cut that right now. we got that covered. I'm going to work on the outside here just to fill up any spaces and then I'll trim that down a little bit later. So let's see what color do I want to use here. Oh I know. Let's try something I've never used before. You think that's uh those who know me, my favorite color. Uh, I think I'll use my finger today on that. Okay, so what I did to the to the I wasn't ready for the to get on the inside yet, so I just started looking at the uh, outside, and um, I don't want to put too many bumpy stuff bumpy stuff on it, like any 2D work or any clay pieces yet. So what I did was I decided to um, I put one coat of uh, this uh, collage page on here, which I really like. It dries nice and it's smooth. Um, it's the matte kind and it doesn't take long to dry and it's not sticky so I really do like it. So what I did here was I put, I, sl I cut a doily in half and um, cut it a little bit more and then I put it on the edge of that. So that's what I did so far. And I'm going to put another piece on this part right here so that so when you open it they're kind of matching. So that's what I'm going to do right now. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to start off with some surprise turquoise. That's a joke, actually. You know that. Um, and I did a little test over here because I wanted to make sure that it was okay. So I'm going to um, put this down. Okay, so here's what I did. I um, painted the insides here with turquoise. I uh, put some purple paint all around it. And then now I'm working on some orange. And now I think I'm going to drip some yellow. So that's what I'm about to do now. Okay, I am back, and I've done a few things since I let this release of this red splatter dry. And I have to admit, it's been a few days since I've had time to get back to this. A lot of stuff going on in my life, all good things. And um, it is uh, almost seven o'clock, and it's still light out, and I'm really excited about that. So I got a little bit of light here. So, what I did since then, I've done a lot of things. Um, I took these tags that I had that were already red and I um, put them on my nonstick surface and I put some glitter glue on them and I just let them dry. And then when I did, the next day I lifted them up and the glitter stayed. Then I put a pocket right in here and I stamped some text on here. So I thought I would stick those in, right? So 
that's like that for now. I might stick them in there permanently. I don't know. I might I might stamp some letters on here. Maybe. I don't know yet. That's how I work. I really don't know everything that I'm doing. This is a little pocket here that I'll stick something in also. And what else did I do while you while I was gone? Um I did some stamping and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint these intersections with the black and white stripe because I really love to put that into my work. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so the glass bead gel has dried, so I colored some glass bead gel uh, with some paint, and I did the stencil here from Stencil Go Products. The stencil, I have had it for several years, I don't know where that came from, but that's dried now. And I have added some stamping around here, added a little piece of paper doily. I had a, um, a piece of lace that I... Um, painted orange and I used that for her crown. I painted her lips a little red. And um, let's see, on the inside, I added these two birds and I put, um, I stamped words into the birds. And um, 
I did a little bit more stamping over here and now I'm just trying to do some edging with some uh, uh, gold leafing pen. So I'm going to do a little bit of that just to do a little bit of the pockets. You know, I don't want to push it here. I think it looks pretty good. Um, the last thing I have to do is, um, you know, I could just keep on going and going with this, but um, the last thing I need to do is add my, um, my button to here, and then I'll be able to close it and wrap it and it'll be done because I think I'm just trying too hard now I feel like I'm, I'm done I'm done with everything that needs to be done here so I'm just gonna add this face as my button and what I did here is I added another button underneath so it would lift up so I'll be able to wrap my t my twine I think that's what it's called twine around around his face um, I decided to use a button instead of my face, clay face, because I don't want that clay face to distract from her face. So I decided to go with a big uh, black clay button, and I think that's I think that's much better right now. So that's what I decided to do, and I did glue another button underneath so it would lift up. So we'll let that go. Okay, everyone, so here's my final result of my pamphlet. I changed the button here, which I think looks a lot better. And this is the inside. And um, some pocket here. Pockets there, but that's my tags in there. That. And then I did some glass bead gel with paint, and I pushed that through a stencil here. And I did the same thing with this stencil from stencil girl products and that's pretty much it so you wrap it and then that's there's my book i hope you like it